Всем привет! In this series of tutorials, I'm gonna teach you how to say in, at, to, and from in Russian, and I will also show you what categories and contexts to keep in mind and what cases we need for these contexts. Now, when we say in, at in English, we mean that we are in or at a fixed location. In Russian, you also have to keep a couple of different categories in mind. For instance, is this fixed location somewhere where you can be inside some kind of a building? Or is it a city or a country? If that's the context, if that's the category, then in Russian we will be using the preposition V with this specific location, and the location will be in the prepositional case. Now, I'm giving you only two rules for this category, but there are a bit more and there are some exceptions. But here we're just looking at everything in broad strokes. And the second category of locations is a location that is an open space, like, let's say, farmer's market. Or maybe it's an event, like a concert. Or maybe it's an island. For this category, that also includes a little bit more rules than these three, we would use the preposition NA and the prepositional case for the location. Finally, if your fixed location is a person's place, then we will be using the preposition U and the genitive case. And in the context of fixed location, we will be using specific verbs that show us action that require a location as opposed to a movement, for instance. So we'll be looking at the verbs like Я живу, for example, Я живу в России, or Я работаю, Я работаю в банке, Я обедаю, Я обедаю в ресторане. Or in Russian, we can simply omit, or because we don't use the verb to be in the present tense, um, any forms and just say Я на лекции. I'm at the lecture. Now let's switch to the context of moving somewhere, either towards a destination or from a specific place. And here we'll still keep this same uh, three categories in mind. And if we are moving towards a destination that we're going to go inside some building or we're going to a city or a country, we will still use the preposition в but the case switches to the accusative case. Similarly, with open space events and islands, we will still use the preposition на, but we'll switch the case from prepositional to accusative. Finally, if your destination is a person, then we will need the preposition к and the dative case. And when we are moving from a location, we are going to be using the preposition is plus the genitive case, we will use the preposition с plus the genitive case coming um, back from open space locations, events, or islands. And finally, when we're coming from a person's place, we will use the preposition от and the genitive case again. Now, since both of these contexts require movement, we can use the verbs иду, еду for both of them. For instance, я иду в банк, я иду из банка. Or in conversational Russian, sometimes we omit the verb to go, so we can say ты куда? Я на лекцию. Ты откуда? Я с концерта. In the other tutorials in this sequence, we are going to be working through a set of the vocabulary, and we're kind of going to be going through every context. So right now I'm going to show you vocabulary for each category, and make sure you know it before you move on to the other three tutorials. Uh, for this category, we will be using this set Bank, Universitet, Magazine, Sportzal, Park, Cafeteri, Zdanie, Moskva, Rossiya, Targovy Center, Center Gorada, Novy Musei. For our second category, Open Space of Inner Islands, we will use this set of the vocabulary. Campus. Лекция, занятие, работа, тренировка, репетиция, концерт, станция, Гавайи, новый рынок, крутая вечеринка. And finally, here is the set of the vocabulary items for our third category, a person or person's place. Врач, сосед, соседка, друг, подруга. Друзья, родители, Иван, Нина, 
Оля, Саша, ты. Now, as you can see, the words мой, моя and мои are in the parentheses. In Russian, we don't use them as often with the words like friends or family members because it's assumed that if you're saying something about a friend, then you're talking about your friend. Otherwise, you would specify that it's somebody else's friend. But I'm keeping it here so you can see the forms in different cases. Okay, make sure you go through all of these vocabulary items and then move on to the next tutorials in this series.